I'm Penny Endersby and I'm the Chief Executive of the Met Office. The Met Office is a world leading weather and climate research establishment and we're very focused on making sure the work we do goes into our prime purpose which is getting you a better, more accurate, more localised forecast. But we, in common with many other scientists, do find that the inventions we come up with can have alternative uses. For example, we wrangle vast quantities of data, exabytes of data, and just our data handling techniques can often be groundbreaking. And I'm really keen that we make best use of those intellectual property wins and that we, we capitalise on those so that we can reinvest that money in making us a better organisation. And I'm keen to share that learning and those opportunities with people from future worlds. I think many people get into a life of scientific research because they want to see that research make a difference and that absolutely drives the scientists and engineers at the Met Office. And one of the ways of doing that is making sure that you really check yourself to see what you have done that is new and innovative and clever and what it could do that's beyond the original purpose of what you did it for. And often when you work in a high-tech environment surrounded by clever, inventive people, you take that as the norm and you think, well, anybody could have done that. And I've, I've seen that at the Met Office, I've seen it at Southampton University, I've seen it at DSTL. And you have to say to people, well, maybe they could have, but they haven't, and you have. So get a patent on it and make it work for you and make, make sure that your, your brilliance has actually transitioned into something that people can use. I don't think there'll ever be a time in my career where I'm not excited by great new science but I'm also really motivated more than anything else by seeing that science make a difference. And I constantly am trying to make things better, whether that's myself in my own learning, the organisation I lead, the people I line manage, or the people I work with as a mentor here, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. I'm interested in hearing from anybody who is making innovative use of environmental data or Internet of Things data, I believe that that's going to be riven through everything we do and handle um, and will really be beneficial to humankind in, in ways that we haven't thought about yet. Future Worlds has made a great start to building entrepreneurialism at the University of Southampton, but I'm convinced it's not yet reaching every corner of the campus. So if you're an environmental scientist or a geographer, there are almost certainly things that you could be doing the Met Office would be interested in. So come along, find out what they do and use them to get in touch with us with your ideas.